Hey, so a couple of years ago, I was sitting in a psychology class studying the works of a couple of guys named Justin Kruger and David Dunning. They would go on to author one of the most well-known effects in psychology, the Dunning-Kruger effect, or so the story goes. Listen to the online discourse about the Dunning-Kruger effect, or just talk to regular people in your everyday life, you might realize that most people have no idea what it is. If I were to sum up the common understanding of the Dunning-Kruger effect, it would be that the more confident that a person is in a particular thing, the less likely they are to be competent in that thing or know what they're talking about. What people are doing when they make a statement like this is taking the useful information that can be found in the Dunning-Kruger effect and reducing the useful parts down to something that they can use in their everyday life. This kind of a shortcut is known as a heuristic, and typically they're useful, but here it's completely wrong. And the Dunning-Kruger effect is nearly the opposite of this. So the Dunning-Kruger effect is oftentimes referenced along with this graph oftentimes referred to as the Mount Stupid Curve. I'm not sure where this graph came from, but it wasn't Dunning or Kruger as far as I can tell, and it's also not their effect. The graph shows at its peak the most untrained and unskilled people, and shows that they are the most confident. Later, as a person becomes more skilled and gains new information, their confidence actually decreases presumably having seen how real experts in the field move. Despite gaining their own expertise, their confidence level never reaches what it was as a beginner. This graph has, as far as I can tell, no actual relation to the Dunning-Kruger effect. It didn't come from their study. It's not even measuring the same things. Like, look at the actual graph made from their study. Uh, furthermore, what this first graph is saying actually can't be correct. The Dunning-Kruger effect isn't about being more or less confident, it's about how much people over or underestimate themselves. Someone who just started out in the field might be overestimating their abilities, but someone who's been doing it for a long time, maybe to the point of expertise, is probably going to underestimate themselves. But they're doing this from two different vantage points. Anecdotally, I've been studying urban planning for about four years now, and because it's a measurable unit of knowledge, uh, let's display it in books. About four years ago, I had read no books, but I definitely had an opinion, an uninformed one. I knew that some cities from a human level felt better to be in than others did, and some places were richer than others, but couldn't actually tell anyone why. I lacked the skills to articulate the difference. While that version of me was more confident than he had earned the right to be, I wasn't more confident at book one than I am now at book 40 and going to urban planning conferences and applying for planner jobs. Both of these things are done from two different vantage points. And I think that's the nuance that this chart misses. On one hand, me of the past who thought that he could plan out better cities than already existed was delusional. Uh, but on the other hand, me today who thinks that he can plan out a better use for a parking lot hasn't become less confident, he's just become more accurate. Like, a brain surgeon who lacks confidence in his abilities is not somehow counterintuitively the exact guy you want to do your brain surgery, I promise. Another thing that oftentimes gets associated with the Dunning-Kruger effect is that old Socrates quote, I am the wisest man, for I know one thing, and it's that I know nothing. I can actually agree, Socrates knew nothing, and that next to nothing you would have known in ancient Greece would be useful today. Personally, I like having my toothaches treated without having my blood let, uh, but if you were in ancient Greece, this was cutting edge technology. Anyway, what I think Socrates was actually saying wasn't that he was wise for a lack of confidence or having humility but that he was wise for the fact that he kept an open mind to changing information, knowing that if the world is functioning properly, then today's knowledge will be inferior to tomorrow's. And thanks for watching.